Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Eric and I'm glad you could be here because today we're talking to eggnog. We've been getting a lot of emails recently requesting a video on how to make a fast, easy, creamy, thick, delicious eggnog. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Eggnog is one of my all time favorite drinks, probably only second to Mexican Tejuino. And if you're curious as to what Mexican Tejuino is, or you want to know how we make it, be sure to check out that link right there. Eggnog is a seasonal drink, and if you love it as much as I do, you don't want to wait until the wintertime to get your hands on that thick, velvety, creamy goodness. And thankfully, after you watch this video, you're going to see just how easy and quick you can make it at home. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do to make this super fast eggnog is get our water bath ready. We're going to be cooking this with an immersion circulator, so we're cranking up the kitchen boss, and we're going to set this to a preset that I have of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the temperature, and we want to cook this for only about 30 minutes. This cooks incredibly fast. If you don't already have an immersion circulator and you want to get into sous vide cooking, check out the description box below. I'll have information on this kitchen boss. So let's crank it on. This is what the water looks like as soon as we do that. A lot of water movement. And it's time to get our ingredients together. So for this recipe, I'm going to use 12 egg yolks. It's going to make roughly about a half a gallon. And I'm just going to separate the whites and set those to the side and, you know, make an angel food cake or something like that. In a small bowl, we're going to mix some turbinado sugar. You could use white sugar. We have a clove, a little cinnamon, and then we're going to add the classic nutmeg. We're also going to add a pinch of salt and an optional ingredient. Uh, is xanthan gum. This is going to give us that classic thick eggnog that you would find at the store. Now that is optional. It'll still be delicious without it, just a little thinner. In a blender, we're going to go ahead and pour our egg yolks. We're going to start with the blender on low. And you're going to notice that the color of the egg yolks are going to change from that vibrant yellow to more of a pale yellow. And you'll see that change happen right about now. Do you see it? That's kind of the color you're looking for. Once you get to that pale yellow, go ahead and add your spices a little at a time while the blender is on a low to a medium low until you run out. You're gonna notice that your mixture is gonna to start to thicken up quite nicely. This is exactly what it should look like. At this point, you can add the milk that the recipe calls for, and there will be a link in the description box below for this eggnog recipe. Once your milk has been added, you're going to continue to blend on a low to medium for another 30 to 60 seconds, at which point we could turn that off and it's now time to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that mixture into a gallon size, freezer friendly Ziploc bag. Once that's in there, we're going to add the cream that the recipe calls for. And we're just going to pour that right on in there with our egg mixture. We're going to close the bag and just agitate it uh, just a little bit just to incorporate those two ingredients. Nothing too crazy here. Just a little agitation is sufficient. I'm going to remove as much air as I can from the bag. And by now, our water bath should have reached its temperature. We're targeting 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like we're there. So we're going to take our bag and stick it inside that water bath and just clip it to the side. During the cooking process, we're gonna agitate the bag a couple times and that's just gonna ensure even cooking. You can take the bag out and give it a shake like I do, or you could stick a spoon inside that bag and give it a nice little mix. Either way works. It's been 30 minutes, our timer is officially over, and our eggnog is ready. So we need to take our eggnog mixture out of the water bath and place it into an ice bath so that we could start to chill it. Now this process doesn't take very long. We want it to get uh, relatively cold because we do want to place this into the refrigerator so that it continues to chill overnight. And you don't want to put that hot mixture into the fridge. So all I'm gonna do is pour that into a gallon size glass jar which is a little better for storage, in my opinion. And at this point, we're gonna add our last few ingredients. One of the ingredients is vanilla. If you're using pure vanilla bean, you can actually add that at the beginning of the process. But when it comes to the extract, I like to add that 
at the end of the process, just like this. So at this point, your eggnog is completely finished. It's kid friendly. You can refrigerate it. It'll be ready to drink tomorrow. If you want a spiked eggnog, this is the time to do it. We're gonna be adding a half a cup of bourbon and a half a cup of aged rum and give it a mix. Adding alcohol will extend the shelf life of your eggnog by just a little bit. It will also help cut through the sweetness of your eggnog, balancing out the flavors, making it nice and velvety smooth. So we're just gonna give that a cover and stick that in our refrigerator overnight. If this does not have alcohol, consume within three days. If it does have alcohol, consume within seven to 10 days. It's now the next day. Our eggnog has been hanging out in the fridge overnight and it's thickened up quite nicely. I mean, this is actually gonna to continue to thicken up over the course of the next 12 hours or so. And one of my favorite parts about making your own eggnog is that you really get to customize it the way that you like your eggnog. Do you like it on the thinner side? Do you like it on the thicker side? And so in the recipe link below, I'm gonna make some recipe suggestions in the event that you wanna tweak the recipe based off of your own personal you know, eggnog preference. And so let's go ahead and pour ourselves a glass and see what it tastes like. I am very excited about this. And now it's time to give our eggnog a taste. And it looks amazing. I mean, this eggnog's got a lot of body. Even distribution of spices, it smells great. The alcohol's not overwhelming. So let's just see what it tastes like. Mm, amazing. Very creamy very velvety, nice and thick. It just coats the throat as you drink it. Very well balanced as well. Not too sweet, perfect level of spice, absolutely delicious. If you make this recipe and you find that it's a little too thick for you, you can always thin it with a little milk until you get to your desired consistency. And this is a great recipe because it's fast, it's easy, and it produces a consistent product without all that fuss. I think from beginning to end, uh, including prep time, it took 40 minutes, and then we chilled it in the refrigerator and we have our eggnog. So you don't have to wait until the winter season to get your hands on this absolutely delicious drink, eggnog. Thanks for being here. If you have any questions on how we made our eggnog, leave them in the comment section below. And if you wanna see how we took this eggnog and turned it into a eggnog sausage, be sure to stick around. We are premiering that video as soon as this video finishes. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now and that notification bell so that you can be notified when it goes live. If you like this video or found it entertaining in any way, a thumbs up would be helpful. And just to let you know what's on the horizon, we've got a lot of turkey and we've been getting a lot of requests for turkey-based charcuterie, different types of sausages and things like that. So we've got an entire line of turkey-based charcuterie that we're gonna be releasing between now and the end of the year. I don't want you to miss a single episode. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.